Hello, my name is Roderick Angle. I'm a real estate agent in New York City, but I'm currently quarantined in the Catskills. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about financing a second home. When I bought my 100-year-old farmhouse in the Catskills region of New York State about eight years ago, I didn't realize at first, but there are some important differences between a primary and secondary home when it comes time to go to the bank to get a mortgage. I'm gonna tell you about them today. Okay, so when you're buying a second home, it's important to establish right away how you're gonna use the home and who's gonna control it. In other words, is it gonna be a vacation home that you're gonna use on the weekends or for vacation, or are you gonna rent it out and it's gonna be more of an investment property? These are two different scenarios and it's gonna be really important when it comes time to get a mortgage on the home because the banks look at those two scenarios in different ways and there's different rules and different products available for each. If what you're buying is gonna be considered an investment property, there's gonna be slightly higher interest rates associated with getting a loan on that property. So let's assume for the sake of this video that you're not renting it out, you're gonna maintain personal control over it and it's gonna be used for the enjoyment of you and your family. Now listen, if you're finding this video useful and you're not a subscriber, please press the subscribe button right there and press that little bell so you get notifications every time I post a new video. I'm doing videos once a week about my life, my community, and bringing you some advice about the very basics of real estate and finance. I'm doing these videos all myself. I don't have any help, so I could use all the support I can get. Thanks so much, you guys. So one of the most important things to know about a secondary home is you're gonna need a larger down payment. For one thing, you cannot get an FHA or VA loan on a secondary home. Those are only for primary homes. On a primary home, in some cases, you can buy a home for as little as 3% down. That's not the case on a secondary home. You're gonna need at least 10% down, and that's if you have a very strong application. In some cases, the bank is gonna require a 20% down payment. Okay, so there are three different ways that you can finance a secondary home. Number one is a cash out refinance on a primary home that you already own. If you have untapped equity in your primary home, you can refinance your mortgage for a larger amount and take the difference in cash. You can use this cash to make a down payment on your secondary home, or if you can get a large enough refinance, you can pay the purchase price in cash. Borrowers who have good credit can borrow up to 80% of their home's current value. And with interest rates as low as they are right now, you could potentially refinance your mortgage, take a larger amount out in cash, but keep the same size monthly payment because you're refinancing at a lower interest rate. Okay, number two is you can open a home equity line of credit or a HELOC on your current primary residence. Now this method leaves your current mortgage in place but taps the equity in your home by establishing a secondary loan at different terms. You can use the HELOC for a down payment on the mortgage on the second house or if you have enough equity built up in your primary residence, you can pay the entire purchase price of your secondary home in cash. A HELOC has a floating rate that's tied to the prime rate could potentially get you a lower interest rate than you have in your primary mortgage. Also, another advantage to the HELOC is you could potentially tap 100% of your home's equity. So the third method to financing a secondary home, and this could be done on its own or in conjunction with one of the other methods we talked about, is to get a conventional mortgage on the secondary home. Just remember, you need to have at least 10% down. Also, your bank is gonna expect you to have assets in reserve to cover expenses. If you're a well-qualified wage earner, you'll need to have at least two months of expenses in savings. If you're freelance or self-employed, the bank is gonna to wanna to see you have at least six months worth of expenses in savings. This means you would have to have funds to cover the expenses from your primary home and your proposed secondary home. Also keep in mind that credit score requirements for mortgages on a secondary home are a little bit higher than they are for mortgages for a primary home. So that's it. It's fairly straightforward as long as you're not planning on treating the home as an investment property. Just remember to consult your accountant or financial planner before you move ahead with financing because there may be different tax advantages associated with the different financing strategies. All right, so that's it guys. That's my tips on how to finance a second home. I hope this helped. I'd be happy to answer any questions you may have. 
And remember, I'm a real estate agent. I'm based in New York City, but I also have a house in the Catskills. I'm happy to advise you, give you some help, point you in the right direction. I'm gonna put my number in the description below. If you're looking around in Sullivan County, New York, or even just in the Catskills generally, feel free to give me a call. I'm happy to help you out. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.